All right, it's 916. The trailer for an in-progress documentary called Kodachrome is getting some buzz among the alien believer community. Filmmaker Adam Dew started his project after his sister found some old slides when cleaning out her friend's basement. Some are calling these the Roswell slides, and there's a lot more to this story. So before we talk to Adam, let's take a look at a clip from his trailer for Kodachrome. Now, has this been released no. to the public? No, not yet. And the government knows you have this? I, I don't know if the government knows The it. military? I don't know if anyone knows. As in, you're not scared of them? Here's what I know so far. Several months ago, I was given a box of 400 color Kodachrome slides that appear to have been taken over a 10-year period starting in the mid-1940s. Two of the slides show what appears to be a small, thin body with a large head and a glass case. All of the photos are part of a collection that belonged at one point to Hilda Blair Ray and her husband Bernard. There aren't many people still alive who knew Hilda and Bernard, but I have been able to piece a few things together. The Rays had no children. They traveled extensively from their home in Midland, Texas, where Hilda was an attorney and an amateur pilot, and Bernard a geologist working in the oil industry. Mixed in with dozens of vacation shots are several unique color photos from the 1948 National Air Races in Cleveland, Ohio, and the 1948 U.S. Open Golf Tournament in Los Angeles. They captured rare color shots of Sam Snead, and even Bing Crosby, and Clark Gable. There are also stunning close-up shots of then-General Eisenhower on a victory whistle-stop tour following World War II. There are dozens more photos that together paint a picture of a very interesting, well-traveled, and possibly well-connected couple. And then there are these last two photos that just don't seem to fit with the rest of the collection. And that's where we are today. So tell us about these two photos. Your, your, if your sister was in this house cleaning business, it's the sister of a friend of mine. Yeah. Okay. Sister, I don't have a sister. The sister oh, of a friend of mine owns a, owned a business in Arizona in, yeah. the, in the late 90s where she would clean out houses for estate sales. And she had some old lady dresses and sewing machines and some other odds and ends that she was supposed to haul to a dump to, uh, to throw in a landfill. Yeah. And she found the box and she was looking through them, saw that they looked interesting, and then she threw them in her garage. They sat there for 10 years. And so then wow. she was uh, uh, moving in the late 2000s and started looking through them again and found, wow, I think that's Clark Gable. Clark Gable. I think yeah. that's, you know, it's those people. And then uh, the box, because it had been in her garage, it started to fall apart. And she found two other slides that were wrapped and hidden under the rest of the slides. And that's this, the two body slides that we have. Now, we should say we can, because this documentary is yet to air, we can't actually show the close-up picture of what right. is reported to be this alien, but we have this right. low-res picture. But it's it looks like an alien what we would assume is an alien skeleton in a glass case. Is that what it is? It looks like what we think an alien would look like, what we've been conditioned by pop culture to yeah. think an alien's supposed to look like. Right. Well, what's interesting is that that didn't become popular until the 60s. That image of the big head, the big eyes, the, the super small body uh, didn't become popular until the 60s. And so this, these slides date, though, to the late 1940s. We've had an expert from Kodak vet them and they do date to the late 1940s. So the possibility could be that whatever that thing is, it could be some kind of monkey skeleton, it could be could be a, a living be something that was a living being on this planet at one time. Is that a possibility? I, I suppose right? that's possible. We're working on that. It is a mystery at this point. We're trying to figure out what it is. We're trying to uh, also trying to find out more about Hilda and Bernard. If someone had come to me with just the two slides, yeah. I wouldn't be working on this project. But to <laughs> me, like figuring out where she was, why she was in the right place at the right time to take these pictures, and then why she would have hid them, uh, trying to get inside of her mind a little bit. So you think it was her that took the pictures, it, not him? Her or her husband, it could have been either, but she was the one who passed away in Sedona in uh, the late 80s, and so uh, we've been trying to figure out, she's the one who had the slides at the end of her life. Her okay. husband passed away in Midland. They mm -hmm. divorced in the early 60s. Okay, so did did he have, a, that time frame seems around the time of the Roswell, right. The alien craft crash, right? Right. right. So yeah. in our in our research, we've been uh, talking to people and showing people the slides, and it has the internet has given them the name the Roswell slides. Mm -hmm. So uh, we did show them to a Roswell military veteran who was on site in 1947, who says he saw bodies, and he says that the slides look like what he saw in 1947. On July of 1947. That is not the alien picture right here. That's Hilda. These are That's Hilda, Hilda and her husband. And about these these two people, what about them 
gives this story in your mind credibility? Uh, we know, we think that they were well connected. We're still putting those pieces together and we released the trailer on the internet a week and a half ago and we're already getting more information about who they were, who they knew. We know through people we found that they knew at least one, multi, maybe multiple presidents during that time period. Uh, you know, they're from Midland, Texas. You can make your own associations mm -hmm. from Midland. Uh, you know, it's mm -hmm. where the Bush family's from. And uh, we're, uh, we're still trying to piece that together, but they, seem to always be in the right place at the right time and uh, yeah. you know it's a mystery has uh, have you heard any strange clicking noises on your phone or anything <laughs> since all this came out you worried about well, the government goons you, coming after you I can tell you my wife wishes I wouldn't touch this at yeah. all. you know go oh, back really? to do my, stick to my day job but the story is too good for me not to not to pursue and yeah you do have your moments when you're working on this late at night and uh, and you start to look out the window and you and you start to wonder you know why is that car sitting out there that sort of thing but, <laughs> but you leave that's what's been most interesting yeah. really is the people that i've met that won't talk on the record about this topic and what they say to you yeah. off the record you know and what they won't and uh, it's spooky it does get it does get inside your head a little bit and you sort of get sucked in you know to the vortex a little I bit i got to you know again you'll see this in the documentary the closer shot but even the ones that we've been showing couldn't it just be a human child that maybe had something wrong with them is that if, if, if you asked experts is that what we'll find out in the documentary I, I mean we're trying to find people that will look at it yeah uh, and and give those opinions this is one of the things that, that since we released the trailer people have been putting this out but that's not what it's not the same it's okay. not the same uh, this is not body. the same no, oh, that's, showing, different. that's been on okay. the internet that, that image has been on the internet uh, since we released the trailer, people trying to debunk it, which has yeah. been really helpful, actually, yeah. because yeah. people have been putting out, they're doing a lot of the research work for, you know, for me that I've been trying to do the last couple of years yeah. in my free time. I, look, one last question. I'm just curious, what was it about these pictures and how you found them that makes you think, it's an alien? I wouldn't automatically think that. I mean, it, wh and why did you feel like the need to pursue it more? I would have just kind of been like, oh, that's weird. Well, to me, it's the details in the head. And I can't find wow. anything that, and that's what you don't see from the blurry image that's been yeah. leaked online, is the details in the face and the head, and the measurements and how it measures up with the rest of the body. Like the head is literally bigger than the chest cavity, oh. and, you know, and, and it's almost as the head is almost the size of the arm. And so this was a computer-generated right. image that you made of. Right, we're doing 3D modeling of it, yeah. and you know, it's it's well, pretty we'll spooky. So All we'll right. see. Once again, the Very film is called Kodachrome. You were an intern here many years ago, I right? was. I yeah. was an intern in 97 uh, here. Yep. And I Do was, you see? We taught you. Right. <laughs> Come back. He's like, I'm so We planted the seed on. early. <laughs> Wow. You want to come to the UFO Congress with me? I'm yeah, even, please, uh, I, I take him. Right? Road trip. Go, go. <laughs> uh, for more information, you can follow the investigation at slideboxmedia.com. Is right. that right? That's right. And when is the documentary supposed to be out? Well, releasing the slides May 5th in Mex at an event in Mexico City. Yes, right. Larry. May sweeps, baby. That's <laughs> where you're going. Time now for Round Town. Hey, Anna. Hey, guys. Good morning, I'm at the Drury Lane Theater with their production of West Side Story, now extended through March 29th, and this is